Hi everyone. So now we will talk about Laravel HTTP request class. So first I let you know what is HTTP request class and why we have to use it. After that we will make a HTML form in our view file and then we will send a request from this HTML form to the controller file. And then we will see how we can get this request data, how we can get path, method, URL, full URL, IP and even how we can verify the path and methods. And the, all of these things can be done with the help of HTTP request class. And at last we'll discuss some important interview question also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from the description box of this part. Alright. So let's move on first question. What is HTTP request class? See, whenever we want to open a website or we are just submitting any form, that time we are actually sending a request from our local system to the server and that time let's on the server side we want to get some details about this request maybe request data maybe its path ip or anything that thing can be done with the help of this http request class in case of laravel framework all right so how we can do that let's understand but for that we need two things one controller and one view so let's make them so php artisan make controller and our controller name can be anything i'm putting there user controller entering there after that let's make view also http artisan make view and view name again can be let's say user all right so after that let's go to the web.php and make okay so this php artisan server should be running right and in web.php which is our route file let's make a route for uh, this uh, user.blade.php so that we can make a form there right so route view and there i'm putting there form form because this is a user form right even if you want then user form user anything name you can put i just putting there form after that our uh, view name which is user and now let's see this is working or not so if i'm just running it form okay for right now you can see that this is working fine but there is no data nothing is written on user.blade.php user so i'm just making a h1 tag there and putting there user login or something right and now you can see this is perfectly working fine so let's make a form now and form type can be post and action will define in a minute after that inside this let's make input and type of this input will be let's say uh, okay type is already defined so we have to define the name and name can be let's say name only or username then placeholder we can mention their user name or you can say that enter username after that let's make br br and let's make the another input which is let's say password after that name can be also password and let's make a placeholder enter user password and better if you you can use their css because i just want to uh, finish this part as soon as possible so that uh, we can save time that's why we are using the br tag otherwise it's better if you use their uh, css for the space and all right so now you can see that form is almost ready now we have to make a request so and we have to put the request url there so that we can submit this form so i am jumping on the user controller.php and creating a function there function name is let's say login and for a moment i am returning there let's say login function called all right okay so uh, now let's make a url for this but we have to import this user controller in our uh, web.php and then at last we can mention there user controller let's create a path for this it will be a post type path because we are using their post method right so the url will be user and 
there we have to call uh, this user controller class colon colon class keyword and in the second parameter let's put the function in which is login so now this url should we have to use inside the action also and now let's see if everything is working fine so let me just put there peter one two three four password clicking on the login okay four one nine page expire because see whenever we are making a request we have to use their csrf token this is due to security i will create a separate part why this token is important right because this is the different topic i don't want to uh, discuss more things about there so let me put there peter and clicking on the login you can see that login function is getting called perfect so the now thing is we sent there if you just go back then peter and password is also one two three four five and clicking there so let's say i want to get the all of these details then how i can get see for that in user controller or any controller you have to use their request class request class is by default by automatically imported here you can see that http request right so let's use inside the parameter and use the any parameter name let's say i'm putting the request even if you want then you can put abc also whatever you want to put it will work fine right so for now i am what i'm going to do there i'm uh, making an echo there echo and uh, there okay let's just return request first right dollar request and you will find there if i'm just clicking over there you can see the token that is generated by csrf then name and password everything is fine there right so let's say before this now i i will use their echoes you want to get the method name of this request so what you can do there you just put their dollar request and then method and this is a function now you will find there the method is post right because we are just sending the post request from there okay so let me use their br tag below so that we can get all these details like in line by line okay so next thing that we want to see let's say you want to get the mm, 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 path like from which path this is getting called so now you will see that you are getting the user path so maybe you will see that's fine we know that this is a user path right see but let's say same thing is also getting called from the let's say login right and then if you just put there login uh, okay yeah and uh, you are submitting this action to the login also right you'll go back to the form and clicking over there now you can see that the path is changed to the login right so from which form action you are getting this call is actually uh, mentioning in the path right so let me remove the second request okay so the next thing let's say you want to get the old details uh, maybe you want to see like uh, what is the data in the name username field right so for example by default this is uh, not by default so let's say i'm just putting there anil or bruce or anything so i want to get there so how we can do that so just simply put there request and then input and inside input you can simply put there user right or okay so we are using the name thing right, right? so let's simply put, simply put their name and you will see if i just click on the log uh okay we have to use there again user is there i think i have to ref refresh it then if i'm putting there peter then you can see that we are getting the peter name there and let's say you want to get the password also that's it similarly you can simply put their password and you will get it go back request here you can see that okay there is no password at all password field should be there okay let me try to put again one two three four five click on the login now you can see that password is also there perfect similarly so let's say let me put back their name only and uh, so let's say you want to get all request well, you want to print you don't want to return there so what you can do there you can simply use their print r and then simply request then input function and you will see that 
we are getting all of these requests token name and anil similarly if you just put there collect okay let me just keep it there only similarly if you just put there collect it will also work for same you can see that but this is with the object uh, interface okay so after that uh, maybe let's say you want to get the ip right so you can simply put their echo dollar request and there you can see that ip and this is again a function so right now it will show only local host ip because we are using the local host but if you are using any site that time it will show you the proper ip and with this feature so let's say you want to block any uh, website or any country url or any ip then you can do that okay so the last thing so let's say if we want to check if the request method is post then the one code of block should be executed otherwise the second block should be executed so what we can do there we can say that if dollar request method is post that time okay let me make a br tag also there right before this you can just do echo and mention there uh, this is post request code or something whatever you want to put and in the else you can simply mention this is other request code right so if i'll refresh it you can see that okay actually i just put there from outside to the uh, else right let me put it inside now you can see that this request post request this is post request code so this code is coming in the if condition similarly if you want to check the url verify the url you can check there is and then you can check user so you can see that this is the user path request you can see that this is the other path request so again we know that we are using their user path so it will still again go to the uh, if condition only and again if you want you can put the br tag this is the user path request so that's all like how you can get the ip and other details full url and everything that you get to know if you still have any confusion doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much and this is my pay team number for donation thanks guys for watching this part